Hi friends, hope you are doing fine. So today I'm going to discuss why you should do a postdoc in a foreign country with respect to the country where you are living in. And let's look at this from two perspectives. The first is the perspective of students from developing countries and the second is for PhD students from developed countries. So if you consider a student in a developing country this is quite an easy problem because what would typically happen is that if this person was going to do a postdoc in a developed country, he or she would have access to better facilities in terms of experimental resources, computational resources, access to the top conferences in the world, access to good libraries, and so on. And therefore, his or her research capability would be taken to the next level. So essentially it happens in the case of many such students is that there is a kind of lid on them and this lid is put by the resource constraint in the system or the capacity constraint in the system. And uh, many students who are studying in developing countries or doing PhDs in universities which are not so well endowed financially with resources have problems actualizing their complete research potential. So when these students go to a foreign country, a developed country and do their postdoc there, they find that they are able to be much more productive in their research and they are able to do much better in terms of their research because of the equipment resources which they have. And in case these guys later return back to their home countries, they are able to bring in a lot of this knowledge. This knowledge is not necessarily the knowledge found in textbooks and papers, but it's the knowledge about how to set up a lab, what are the equipments which are required to set up a lab, what are the computational resources which are required, how essentially to run a lab, how to conduct meetings, how to take part in various presentations, how to run a research group. So many of these things are learned through people. And so essentially if you get a person who is a host for you, who is a good host, and you can essentially figure out from this person's behavior patterns from how he runs his lab, how they conduct their research, how they write proposals and so on, as to how to essentially be a professor and that is certainly very useful. Now let's look at the second category of people who are students from developed countries. And in this category of people, I nowadays sense a lot of angst about doing postdoc. And this is primarily driven by the fact that the postdoc doesn't pay well. And because the postdoc is essentially a temporary position, it's like a stipend, these people are often very disgruntled. They are very sad about the fact that the postdoc doesn't pay well. If you are living in cities like New York or Munich or Tokyo or Melbourne, then it's very difficult to make ends meet with a typical postdoc salary. So that's something which is there. So one of the solutions which some people recommend is essentially don't do a postdoc. And that's certainly a possibility if you can get a direct job in a university take it if you can get a direct job in a research lab take it in fact if you can get a direct job in a corporate re research environment you should take it i feel the only possible advantage of a student in a developed country as far as doing a postdoc is concerned is if they go to a foreign country and where this is useful is that it may give you some experiences which you do not have in your own country. It also has the benefit of giving you some potential of seeing a new culture, seeing a new country, learning a new language and so on. So it does activate to some extent lateral thinking on the part of most people. So I'll give you an example in my case when I had gone to Germany to work in the Max Planck Institute. So I of course found the facilities to be very good and the research productivity was greatly improved. Now there were also some guy from France who was there doing his Humboldt postdoc and this guy of course had a different experience. For him the facilities and all were okay, they were at par with whatever was there in France but there was a whole different way of functioning in Germany which this guy could learn and he also developed a set of contacts which were useful to him later when he went back to France and became a professor. So he was uh, somebody who could then write joint projects with various Germans and so on. So this is something which helped this person in a different way. So I would suggest that if you are in the US, try to get a postdoc in Europe. If you are in Europe, very naturally you will be inclined to get a postdoc in a different country in Europe or in US or Canada or Australia or Japan. If you are in Japan, try to get postdocs in Europe and in Australia and some other countries. 
So this will always help the case of becoming more broad minded. At least you are going to get paid some amount of money in a foreign currency and you are going to have the potential of traveling in that country sometime in that continent. For example, if you were to get a postdoc in any European country, there's a possibility that you could travel in Europe and it's not one of those travels which comes in buses and in coaches, but actually traveling around the country or the continent in trains and seeing the small towns and the different places and so on. And you can do this through participation in different research conferences, etc. So as far as I would say is that if you are a student in a developed country, the only possibility of getting a good postdoc would be to go to a foreign country and do a postdoc. Also try to take advantage of these foundation based postdocs such as the Humboldt Foundation, the JSPS Foundation, the Marie Curie fellowships and so on. So that will certainly help your case. You can also use the Fulbright if you are a person in US wanting to go to a foreign country or if you are a foreigner wanting to come to US. This does work both ways. So Fulbright is not only meant for foreign students to come to US but also if anybody is a US citizen or a permanent resident they can also go to a foreign country around the world on the Fulbright fellowships. So think about these things. It's certainly better than to just go from one town in US to a different city and try to do a postdoc there because just relocating yourself and with the costs of rents and living in the US it's going to be very expensive and so it's certainly not going to help your case financially to do a postdoc in your own country. So in many of these foreign countries such as in Germany they have guest houses which are there for foreign postdocs. That's a culture which is quite prevalent in Europe including in UK. There are same type of uh, situations in Japan and so on so you can always take advantage of these situations. You also should not rule out some of the newly emerging developed countries or the developing countries. So there are a lot of countries such as China, India where you can do a postdoc at a very high level technically and you will also get an experience which is very different because you will then have to work with frugal resources and who knows that may lead you to solutions which are very different. So for example, if you are looking at using solar panels in some situation for the rural development landscape, then you may find some problems which you can use in developing countries. So that's certainly possible. So again, finally, I would say that look for foreign countries for postdoc don't look at your own country that's way too boring life should not be so boring your phd was sufficiently boring you don't want your postdoc to be as boring as your phd so that's my take on why you should do your postdoc in foreign countries stay tuned to my channel i will see you in a video sometime soon